Hey, ow, oh, e, um, ow. You, ha, ha. Mischief animation. According to all known laws of aviation, there's no way that a bee should be able to fly. This is false. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. <laughs> yellow black, yellow black, yellow black, yellow black, yellow black, yellow black. Oh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Fairy, breakfast is ready! Coming! Oh, hang on a sec. Drink, drink. Hello? Fairy? Adam? Can you believe this is happening? Can't believe it. I'll pick you up. Boop. Bing. Looking sharp. Fairy, why don't you use the stairs? Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. All oh, bees. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going on here. You got some lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. <laughs> the free movie. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little. It's a special day. Finally graduating. Never thought I'd make it. Three days of grade school, three days of high school. Those were awkward. Three days of college. I'm glad I took a day in the middle and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hey, Barry. Hey, Artie. Growing a mustache? Looks good. Did you hear about Frankie? Yeah. Are you going to his funeral? No, I'm not going to his funeral. Everybody knows. Think someone you die. You don't waste it on a squirrel. He was such an idiot. Yeah, I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. Whoa! I love this incorporating an amusement park right into our regular day. I guess that's why they say we don't need vacations. <laughs> Boy, quite a bit of pomp. <laughs> Under the circumstances. <laughs> well, Adam, today we are men. We are. Be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Faculty, distinguished bees, please welcome Dean Buzzwell. Welcome, New Hive City graduating class of 915. <clears throat> That concludes our graduation ceremony. Hey! Boink. And begins your career at Honex Industries. Are we going to get to pick our jobs today? I heard it's just orientation. Huh. Oh, heads up. Here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Hey! Good job. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. I wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Whoa. Whoa. Welcome to Hunex, a division of Hanesco and a part of the Hexacon group. This is it. Wow. 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 We know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into this soothing, sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow you know as... Honey! honey! <laughs> 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 that 
girl is hot. She's my cousin. She is? Yes, we're all cousins. Right, you're right. At Hunnex, we also constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. Don't, don't, don't. What do you think he makes? Not enough. And here we have our latest advancement, the Krellman. Wow, what does that do? Catches that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. No. Saves us millions. <gasps> uh, can anyone work on the Krellman? Of course. Most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in the job you pick for the rest of your life. Wow. Ooh. The same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What was the difference? And you'll be happy to know mm. that bees, as a species, haven't had one mm. day off in 27 million years. So, you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try. <laughs> wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference, Adam? How could you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to make. Well, I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. Yeah, but Adam, how could they have never have told us that? Barry, why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on Earth. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, but Adam, did you ever think that maybe things work a little too well over here? Like what? Give me one example. <laughs> I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a sec, check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like to get outside the hive. Yeah, but some of them don't come back. <laughs> Hi, Jocks! Clack, clack! You guys did great! You're monsters! You're sky freaks! I love it! I love it! I wonder where those guys have just been. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide one day to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look at that. That's more pollen than you and I will see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. I think bees make too big a deal out of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. <laughs> Those ladies? Aren't they her cousins too? Distant, distant. Look at these two. Couple of high fairies. Let's have some fun with them. Must be so dangerous being a pollen jock. Oh yeah. One time a bear pinned me down against a mushroom. He had one paw in my throat and with the other he was slapping me back and forth across oh, the my. face. I never thought I'd knock him out. What are you doing doing this? Obviously, I was trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that for you if you want. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? <laughs> yeah, gusty. You know, we're going to hit a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry. It's a puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going to 0900 at J-Gate. What do you think, buzzy boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Onyx! That, you surprised me. <laughs> Have you decided what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices. But you only get one. <laughs> Dad, do you ever get bored of doing the same job every day? 
sun. Let me tell you something about stirring. You grab that stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. And you were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Well, no. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Oh, Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're going to be a stirrer! No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have for you. I can say anything right now. I'm going to get an ant tattoo. Let's open some fresh honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax. Shave my antenna. Shag up with a grasshopper. Put a gold teeth and fuck. I'm so proud. Ow. Bam, bam. Wow. Wow. Can't believe we're starting work today. Today is the day. Come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Hall and counting, stunt fee, pouring, stir, front desk, hair removal. Oh, is it still available? Hang on. Two left and one of them's yours. Congratulations, step to the side. What'd you get? Picking the crud out. Stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies? Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. I'll step up and make your choice. You want to go first? Uh, no, you go. Oh, my, what's available? Restroom attendant's open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting on the crawlman? Sure, you're on. Boink. Oh, I'm sorry, the crawlman's just closed out. Oh, wax monkey's always open. Oh, the crawlman open up again. Well, what happened? Well, whenever B dies, that's an opening. See that? He's dead. Dead, another dead, another deadly, deadified, two more dead, dead from the neck up, dead from the neck down. But that's life. Oh, this is so hard. <sighs> Heating, cooling, stunt bee, power, stir, humming, inspector number seven, lint coordinator, stripe supervisor, trim and poop polisher, wrangler, berry, what do you think I should... Berry? Berry! All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant Tring -tring. nine. Beep. What happened to you? What are you? I'm going out. Ow, ow, where? Out there. Oh, no. I have to before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You're crazy. Hello? Oh, gotta go. Another call coming. Beep. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd that gets their roses today. Hey, guys. Well, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Just sign here, here, initial that. Thank you. Okay, you got a raid advisory today, and as you all know, bees cannot fly in raid. So be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it. Just babbling like a cicada. That's awful. And a reminder for all you rookies, B law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right, launch positions. Buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow. Hello. Ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Wind. Check. Antenna. Check. Nectar pack. Check. Wings. Check. Stinger. Check. Doodle in my pants. Check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. <laughs> Pound those petunias, you stripe stem suckers. All of you. Drain those flowers! <laughs> wow! I'm out! I can't believe I'm fucking out! So blue! Woohoo! I feel so fast and free! Box kite! Wow! Holy shit! This is Blue Leader 
We have Rose's visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Rose's. 30 degrees. Roger. Bring it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. Beep. Oh, that is one nectar collector. Ever see pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over there, maybe a dash over there, a pinch on that one. See that? It's a little bit of magic, ain't it? That's fire. Why do we do that? That's pollen power, kid. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar. More honey for us. Sick. <sighs> Picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Beep, beep. Zoom. Could be that visual. Beep, Wait. Beep, beep. One of those flowers seems to be on the move. Say again? Are you reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. Ah, it smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah. Fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. <coughs> Sweet lord of bees. Hey, candy brain, get off there. Problem? <coughs> guys? Boink. Ah! Guys! This could be bad. Affirmative. Boink. Not very close. Uh, gun hurt. Uh, chill, 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 chill. Oh, shit. You are way out of position, rookie. <laughs> Coming at you like a missile. <laughs> you know, I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. <laughs> <Boing>. <laughs> Match point! You can just start packing up, honey, because I believe you are about to eat it! Oh, shit, shit! Oh, shit! Mommy! Mom! Oh, fuck! No, please! It's unbelievable. I gotta get home. Bloop. Whoa. Oh shit. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh bloop, bloop. Uh, Can't fly in the rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly. Oh shit. <coughs> oh. Uh, mayday. Oh. Boy, oh, 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 oh. Can you close the window, please? Uh, hey, mm. check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure, you see? Mm. Folds out. Oh, no, more humans. I don't need this. Bing. Ow! What was that? Maybe this time. Bing. This time. Bing. This time. This time. This time. This time. This time. This time. Oh, damn it! 
That is diabolical. Uh, it's, it's got all my special skills, even my top ten favorite movies. What's your number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that. Pew, 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 kind of stuff. No wonder we're not supposed to talk to them. They're idiots. When I walk out of a job interview, they're flabbergasted. They can't believe the things I say. Oh, there's the sun. Must be your way out. Zoom. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. Zoom. Bing. Ow. Uh. I gotta tell you, I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first I thought it was just me. Wait. Stop. Me. Ah! Kill it. Kill it. Stand back. These are winter boots. <laughs> Wait, oh. don't kill him. You know I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Well, why does his life have any less value than yours? Why does his life have any less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. sure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Hey, why don't you put that on your resume brochure? It's not funny. My whole face can puff up. Hmm, make it one of your special skills. You know, knocking someone out is also a special skill. Bloop. Hmm. Bloop. Hmm. Will that the next week, yogurt night? Oh, yeah, sure it can. You know, whatever. You could put carob chips on there. Bye. It's supposed to be less calories Bye. or something. <laughs> wow. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. <sighs> All right, here it goes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> What? Buzz. Squeak. Zim. Squeak. What would I say? Zim. 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 I could really get in trouble. Zim. It's B law. You're not supposed to talk to humans. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I've got to. No, I can't. Come on. Weep. No, yes, no. Do it. I can't. Choop, boink, boink. How should I start? You like jazz? <laughs> no, that's... Speak, you fool. Uh, hi. <gasps> ding, ding, ding. Uh, I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I, I know. I, I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Well, you know, I'm sure this is pretty disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. Yeah, I am a bee, and I'm not supposed to be doing this, but they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I mean, I, I just had to thank you. It's just mm -hmm. how I was raised. Ah! What the fuck? I'm talking with a bee. Yeah? I'm talking to a bee. Anyway. And the bee is talking to me. Uh, I just wanted to say I'm grateful. I'm a bounce. Wait, 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 wait. How did you learn to do that? What? That, 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 the talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Papa, uh -huh. honey, you'd pick it up. Very funny. Yeah, bees are hilarious. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with everything we got going on. Anyway. Can I, uh, get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? Well, I don't want to put you out unless you're making it anyway. Oh, it's no trouble. It takes two minutes. Really? Oh, I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a pack of smokes. Hey, you want a little rum cake? Did you say rum? Have a little uh, rum cake. I shouldn't. Come on. No, I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms over here. Where? These stripes, they don't help. You look great. Uh, you clearly don't know about fashion. Are you all right? No. <laughs> So he's making his tie in the cab. 
he asked the doctor to get a shot in his arm and he had veins popping out of his head and I sting him at the exact same time the needle goes in. He said, is that steroids or a snake bite? <laughs> huh? Oh. Is that a, a bee joke? Yeah, that's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So anyway, what are you going to do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Oh! Huh. Anyway, uh, you see, uh, if you look over there, there's my hive. See it? Oh, you're in sheep mellow. Yes, you know Turtle Pond? I'm right off that. No way. I know that area. You know, I lost a toe ring there once. Really? Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? I don't know. Seems a little kinky. Well, maybe I am. Are you okay, ma'am? Oh, yeah. Fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Hmm. <laughs> Ah. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Uh, um, anyway, uh, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Uh, sorry I couldn't finish it. I haven't done that much since college. Um, want to take a shot? No, but you can have a little rum cake. Oh, fine. Yeah. Uh, all right, well then, uh, I guess I'll see you around, or not, or, uh... Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again for before. Oh, that? That was nothing. Well, not nothing, but, uh, anyway. Squeak. Oh, shit. This can't possibly work. Well, he's all set to go. He may die, but we may as well try it. All right, Dave, pull the chute. Ooh. E uh, uh, oh, it was amazing. It was the scariest and happiest moment of my life. Humans, humans. I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy, they eat crazy giant things, and they drive around real crazy. As if they tried to kill you, like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How'd you get back? Poodle. Look, you did it, and I'm glad. You saw whatever you wanted to see out there. You had your experience, and you're back, and you can pick up your job, and everything can be back to normal. Well, 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 well I met someone. You met someone? You did? Was she beast? Not a wasp. Your parents would kill you. No, no, not a wasp. Spider? You know, I'm not attracted to spiders. I know everyone else has the hots for them, but the eight legs and all, I just can't get by the face. Uh, well, who is she? She's, uh, human? Oh, no, no, you can't do that. That's the bee law. You can't break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh, boy. She's so nice and she's hot. Oh, no, no, no. You're dating a hot human? Well, we're not dating. You're flying outside the hive. You're talking to human beings that attack our homes with power washers and M80s. That's an eighth of a stick of dynamite. She saved my life. And she's smoking hot. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. That was so singing stripey. And that's not even what they eat. That just falls off what they eat. Do you know what a Cinnabon is? No. It's bread. It's cinnamon and frosting. Be quiet. And they heat it up Get down. really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We're us. There's us and there's them. Yeah, but how can I resist the urge to pollinate when my stinger gets hard and pointy? Ah! We gotta start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? Mm -hmm. I gotta start thinking B. Barry, how much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? Well, I got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Ugh. Would it kill you to just make a little honey? 
Barry, come out of there. Your father's talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. Sugar. Honey, honey. You are my candy girl. And you got me wanting you. Honey. Very spicy. You coming? You got everything? All set. You go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. I just can't believe the loveliness of loving you. I just can't believe the wonders of this feeling. Oh yeah, let's do it again. Watch this! Oh, honey, honey. <gasps> what the fuck? Vanessa! <laughs> We're still here, Barry. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond when you yell at him. Then why are you yelling at me? Because you don't listen. Ah, uh, I'm not listening to this. Sorry, Mom, I gotta go. Where are you going? Nowhere, I'm meeting a friend. Mm. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. Mm. I just hope she's B-ish. Honk, honk. Ding, ding, ding. So they just have a huge parade of just flowers every year in Pasadena? Oh, to be in the tournament of roses. That's every floor stream. Up on the float, surrounded by flowers. Crowds cheering. Wow, a tournament. Do the roses actually compete in athletic events? No. All right, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere, huh? Isn't that faster? Yeah, okay, I see, I see. All right, your turn. Uh, TiVo, you can just freeze live TV? That's insane. Why, you don't have anything like that? We have HiVo, but it's a disease. A horrible, horrible disease. Oh, my. Ah, dumb bees. You must just want to sting all those jerks. We really try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. So you really have to watch your temper. Oh, yeah, very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter, jerk my stinger. You work through it like any emotion. Anger, jealousy, lust. <gasps> Pow! <gasps> oh, my goodness. Are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. Boink. What was that? Pick and save circular? Yeah, it was. How did you know? Felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. Well, you really got that down to a science. Oh, we have to. I lost a cousin once to Hustler. <laughs> I bet. What in the name of Mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? Cute bee? Golden Blossom? Ray Liotta Private Select? R.I.P. Is he that actor? Yeah, good fellas. Why is he here? For people. We eat it. Why? You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. How do you get it? Well, bees make it. I know who makes it, and it's hard to make. There's heating and cooling and stirring. You need a whole Krellman thing. It's organic. It's organic. It's just honey, Barry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale? I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to get to the bottom of all of this. <laughs> wiki, wiki. Hey, Hector. <gasps> you almost done? Almost. <laughs> He's here now. I sense it. <gasps> Fuck. Fring. Hmm? 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 Pew. Well, I guess I'll go home now and just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. Ha ha, I knew I heard something, so you can talk. Oh, I can talk. And now you're gonna start talking. Where you getting the sweet stuff, huh? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were all friends. The last thing we want to do is upset any of you bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, are about to be lunch for my iguana. Ignacio. Where's the honey coming from? <laughs> Tell me where. Honey Farms. It comes from Honey Farms. 
thing has happened here. Look at these faces. They never knew what hit them. And now they're on the road to nowhere. Psst. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe anything that moves. Now where are you headed? To Honey Farms. I'm on to something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood. Crazy stuff. Blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma. What about you? He really is dead. Oh, alright. Uh-oh. What's that? Oh no! A wiper! Triple blade! Triple blade? Javon, it's the only damn beast! Why does everything have to be so damn clean? How much do you people really need to see? Open your eyes! Stick your head out the window! From NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Castle. But don't kill no more bugs! Ah! Moose blood guy! You hear something? Like tiny screaming. Turn off the radio. Boop. Ah! 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 Hey, sweet cheeks. Hey, blood. And it was just an endless row of honey jars as far as the eye could see. Wow. So I'm just assuming wherever this honey truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that honey's ours. Bees hang tight. Well, we're all jammed in there. It's a close community. Not us, man. We're on our own. Every mosquito's out on his own. What if you get in trouble? Trouble? You're a mosquito? You're in trouble. Nobody likes us. They all just smack. You know, mosquito smack, smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet a lot of girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a moth, a dragonfly. Mosquito girls don't want mosquitoes. Whoa! You gotta be kidding me! Moose Blood's about to leave the building! So long, B! Hey guys, ready to suck on hey, it? Guys? Hey! Hey, what's going on? Hey, <laughs> and then we throw it in jars with that label on it and it's pure profit. What is this place? A beak and a brain the size of a pinhead. Yeah, there's some pinheads. Pinhead. Hey, check out the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the Thomas 3000. Smoker? 90 puffs a minute. Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine. <laughs> All the tar. Couple of of this knocks them right out. <laughs> they make it the honey, and we make it the money. They make the honey, and we make the money? These guys are idiots. Ooh. <laughs> what? going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. How did all these bees get here? You guys know you're living in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. That's your queen? I mean, Slay, <laughs> that's a drag queen. <laughs> what is this? 
Oh no, there's hundreds of them. <laughs> B, honey, our honey is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. B this is worse than anything bears have ever done, and I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans are taking our honey? That's just a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctored photos. Ugh. Barry, how'd you get mixed up in all this? I've been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? You have a human girlfriend, and they fuck! They fuck Barry! Uh, yeah, totally. How does that work? Whose side are you on? The bee! I fucked a cricket once in San Antonio. Man, those crazy legs kept me up all night. Hashiwa! Barry, this is what you want to do with your life? This is what I want to do for all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home some nights so overworked your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop them. <clears throat> I remember that. What right do they have to our honey? We're living on two cups a year. They're putting in a lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, Barry, what can one bee do? Now I'm going to sting him where it really hurts. In the face? No. The eye? That'll really hurt. No. Up to the nose, that's a killer. There's only one place you can sting humans. One place where it really matters. The hive at five. The hive's only full hour action news. Ow! Oh, oh, no more me back. No more. With Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. <laughs> Weatherman Storm Singer. Sports with Buzz Larvey. Oh. And Jeanette Chung. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Bob Bumble. And I'm Jeanette Chung. Our top story. A crazy bee, Barry Benson, is saying he intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it, and profiting from it illegally. Da, 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 da. Don't forget, tomorrow night on Bee Larry King, we'll have three former queens here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think, I'm a kid from the hive? I can't do this. Larry, bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about Bee Columbus? Bee Gandhi? Bee Jesus? Oh, where I'm from, you wouldn't think of suing humans. We were thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? Oh, I want you to know the entire bee community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the bee century. Thank you, Larry. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world, too. It's a common name. Next week on Bee Larry King. No, oh, he looks just like you, has a show and suspenders and colored dots in the background. Next week on Be Larry King. Glasses, quotes on the bottom from the guest, even though you just heard them. Bear week, next week. They're scary, hairy, and they're here live. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. But it was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Hun. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. Is that the same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. What? Bzz, bzz. Oh, hello. Hello, bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland, size ten and a half. Vibram soul, I believe. Uh, why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yeah, and Adam here has been a huge help. <laughs> How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. <laughs> so why are you helping me anyway? Bees have good qualities. Si, certo. It feels good to take my mind off the shop. I don't know why, but instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Yeah, those are great, if you're a fucking child. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me fired up! Yeah, me too. Bent stingers, pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. There's nothing worse than a daffodil with a BBL. Well, maybe this could make up for it a little bit. You know, Barry, this lawsuit's a pretty big deal. I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home, without paying me a fat royalty. 
it's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan where the world anxiously awaits because for the first time in history, we will hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. Mm, yeah, 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 mm, yeah, that's right. Mumbling, yeah, mumbling. We're mumbling, mm, mumbling around. What have we gotten into here, Barry? I don't know, but it's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. Hey, you think these billion-dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? What's the matter? I don't know. I just got to chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, any of you boys work on this? <laughs> All rise. The Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right. Case number 4475, Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry is now in session. Mm -hmm. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively? A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all bees of the world? Ahem. <clears throat> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we're ready to proceed. <sighs> and Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we would live in the topsy-turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, just think of what it would mean. Maybe I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my britches. Talking bee. How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, <gasps> robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. Oh, we know he could be on steroids. <sighs> <sighs> Mr. Benson. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. And as a bee, honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We made it. And we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there's some people in this room with simpleton mothers who think they can take whatever they want from us because we're the little guys. And I'm hoping that after all this is over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you're not only taking away everything we have, but everything we are. Yeah. Oh, I wish you would dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Klaus Vanner Hayden of Honey Farms. Pretty big company you got there. I suppose so. And I see you own Honey Burton? And Hunron? Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper, huh? I find that term to be very disturbing, I have to say. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? Uh, no. I'm sorry, can you speak up? No. No, because you don't free bees, do you? You keep bees. And not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. Well, they're very lovable creatures. Yogi Bear, Fozzie Bear, B Build a Bear. Yeah, huh? You mean like this? <laughs> Bears kill bees! How would you like his big hairy head crashing through your living room, biting into your couch, spitting out your throw pillows? Rawr, rawr! Okay, that's enough. Take him away. <clears throat> So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me, I have to say. Where have I heard it before? Uh, well, I was with a band called The Police. But you've never been a police officer of any kind, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of bee culture being casually stolen by a human for <gasps> nothing more than a prance about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Sumner? Ugh. <gasps> That's not his real name. You idiot! Uh, uh, 
Mr. Leota, first let me offer you a congratulations for your Emmy win for some shitty guest spot in 2005. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, I also see from your resume that you're devilishly handsome, but with the churning inner turmoil that's always ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet it isn't. But is this what it's come to? Exploiting tiny, helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse mm. your part? Or learn your line, sir? <laughs> Watch it, Benson. I can blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. <laughs> Why isn't someone just step on this creep and we can all go home? Order in this court. <gasps> You're all thinking it. No. <laughs> uh, say it. Say it. <sighs> <laughs> Well, I just think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I'm telling you, I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right? You know, legally? I'm a florist. Right, right. Well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Ding. Well, hello. Oh, Ken. Hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but click the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. Well, there's still a little left. I could heat it up? Yeah, heat it up, sure, whatever. <laughs> so, I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. I find the ball a little grabby. Mm, that's where I usually sit. Right? There. Well, yeah. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? Hey, look, I know how hard it is to find the right job. We certainly have that in common. Do we? Well, bees have 100% employment, of course, but we do jobs like take the crud out. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor for his buzz. I hope that was all right. Oh. I'm going to go drain my penis. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I just about had it with your little mind games. What? What's that? Italian Vogue. <laughs> Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. It's a lot of ads. Remember what Vance said, why is your life any more valuable than mine? That's funny. I just can't seem to Pow. recall that. Pow. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. Yeah? How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Ah! <laughs> yeah! Ah! <laughs> hmm? Hmm. Ah! <laughs> Ding! Oh! Dong. Oh! What? Ah! Oh my god, they pulled my pants! <laughs> Can't look at me, I'm wearing a chapstick helmet over here! I've got issues! <laughs> well, 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 a royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I? <laughs> yeah! There's a oh, poo water! <laughs> Woo. Woo. That bowl was gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow uh, rings. Kenneth, <gasps> what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life. And you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees, no yogurt night, my nerves are fried from riding around on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. Oh! <sighs> uh. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that.
I know. It's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh, well. Are you going to be okay for the trial tomorrow? Oh, I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson B to the stand. Now, that's a good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best uh, lawyers in the... Uh, yeah. Zip. Thing, you gotta weave some magic with this jury or it's all gonna be over. Oh, don't you worry. The only thing I have to do to turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers. Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Oh. Mr. Benson B., I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is uh, your relationship to that woman? <gasps> Fuck. We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. How are you her little, uh, bed bug? Hey, hey, hey. I've seen a bee documentary or two. Now, from what I understand, doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children in the hive? Yeah, but... So these aren't even your real parents? <gasps> yes, they are. Hold me back! You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees! Don't y'all date your cousins? Objection. I'm gonna sting them in the butt! <laughs> Adam, don't! He had Taco Bell for lunch! <laughs> Sting! Blum, 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 blum. Oh, tacos. Oh, loaded! I'm hit! I turned jiggling ass! Order, hit. order! Oh, the venom! The venom is coursing through my veins! I've been failed by a winged beast of massive destruction! You see? You can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages! Stinging's the only thing they know it's their way! Adam, stay with me. My legs. Tacos. Blah. Oh, what angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my haven buttocks. Oh God. I will have order in my court. <laughs> Thank you. Zoom. <coughs> <sighs> Oh. Oh. Zoom. 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 Hey, buddy. Hey. Is there much pain? Yeah. Beep, beep, beep. I... I blew the whole case, didn't I? Doesn't matter. What's important is that you're alive. Zoom. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Shh. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs, from a tuna sandwich. Look, there's still a little celery on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all, all adrenaline and then ecstasy. Oh, shit. I gotta try that. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry, I flew us right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. What do you think the humans will do to us if they win? I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh, my. <coughs> Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. <coughs> right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke. But some bees are smoking. Adam, that's it. That's our case. It is? It's not over? No, get up. Get dressed. I gotta go somewhere. You get back to the court and stall. Stall any way you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. And assuming you've done step 29 correctly, you're ready for the tub. Oh, yeah. Wow. Cool. Hmm? Mr. Flamen. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, Your Honor. Where is the rest of your team? Well, um, well, Your Honor, it's interesting. You know bees are trained to fly kind of haphazardly, and as a result, often we don't make very good time. Actually, I heard a pretty funny story once about... Uh, your Honor, haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? 
They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my client, who all run perfectly legitimate businesses. <laughs> yeah. I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flayman, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. What? You can't. We have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun! Hold it, Your Honor! You want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun! <gasps> what is that? That is a bee smoker. What, this? This harmless little contraption? This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. <laughs> oh no. Oops. Members of the jury, look what has happened to all these bees who've never been asked if they want to get high. Is this what nature intended for us? To be forcibly addicted to these smoke machines in man-made wooden slat work camps? Living our lives as honey slaves to the white man? Ooh. Um, uh, mm, mm. What are we gonna do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please we free these bees! Free the bees! Free the bees! Free the bees! Free the bees! The court finds in favor of the bees! Mm. Vanessa, we won! Yay! I knew you could do it! High five! Oh, oh yeah, sorry. I broke my fucking arm. I'm okay, though. Vanessa, do you know what this means? All the honey's finally gonna belong to the bees! Now we won't have to work so hard all the time! Yeah! Well, <gasps> wait. This is an unholy perversion of the balance in nature, Benson. You'll regret this. All right. Hey, Barry, Barry, how much honey do you think is out there? All right, all right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? Uh, my sweater's from Mischief, and uh, I have no pants. Mm. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the bee way a long time. 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What are your demands? Cling. First, we'll demand a complete shutdown of all bee work camps. <laughs> then we want back all the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of bears as anything more than a filthy, smelly, big-headed, bad breath stick machine. I believe we're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Mm -hmm. beep, beep. Oh. Kill that son of a bitch. <laughs> He'll have a little oh. nausea for a few hours, oh. and then he'll be fine. And we will no longer tolerate derogatory <laughs> B-negative <laughs> nicknames. Yeah. But it's just a Correct. principal yeah. stage name! Unnecessary right. inclusion of honey Whoa. and bogus health products. And la-dee-da, human tea time snack <laughs> garnishments. <laughs> Pow! Oh. Get down! Oh. 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 Bring it in, boys! <laughs> Hold it right there! <laughs> yep. Yeah. <gasps> Mr. Buzzwood, hope, hope is overflowing. Too much honey, we need to shut down. Shut down, shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Uh, I don't know. Wait, fuck. <gasps> Cannonball! <laughs> yes, oh boy. Oh, nice. Oh. Shutting down honey production. Mission abort. <sighs> beep, beep. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't 
believe how much honey was out there. Oh, yeah? What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Are they out celebrating? No, they're just home. They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in. I heard your Uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Yeah, but some things I think, so what? If humans liked our honey, who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world, and I was excited to be a part of making it. <coughs> this was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well, and now, now I can't. Hmm. I don't understand why they're not happy. We have so much now. Mm. I thought their lives would be better. Mm. They're doing nothing. Mm. It's amazing. Mm. Honey really changes people. You don't have mm. any idea what's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. Mm. Oh. Mm. What happened here? That is not the half of it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. They're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think that is? Mm, I don't know. Yours? No, you dumb fuck. You! Me? You helped too, bitch! But I guess bees not making honey would affect these things. It's not just flowers. Fruits, vegetables, they all need bees. Well, aren't you a little smarty pants? So, you take away produce, that affects the entire animal kingdom, and then, of course... The human species? <clears throat> so, if there's no more pollination, it could all kind of just go south, couldn't it? And I know, this is also partly my fault. Partly? <sighs> How about a suicide pact? How do we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me? That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry, sorry, but I gotta get going. Are you serious? <sighs> Can't believe she's trying to fucking put it all on me. Wait, Vanessa? <clears throat> Vanessa, why are you leaving? <clears throat> Where are you going? <clears throat> to the final tournament of Roses Parade <clears throat> in Pasadena. <clears throat> They moved it up to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant for it to turn out like this. I know. Me neither. Squeak! <laughs> Tournament of roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses? Roses? <laughs> roses! <laughs> Vanessa! <laughs> <laughs> the fucking roses! Barry? Roses are flowers! Yes, they are! <laughs> flowers! Bees! Pollen! I know! That's why this is the last parade! <laughs> Maybe not! Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? <laughs> <gasps> Barry! <laughs> Okay, we made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster, and it's all our fault. You mean your fault. Anyways, we ruined the planet, and I wanted to help you with the flower shop, but instead, I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. Oh, I thought maybe you were remodeling. Nonetheless, I have another idea, and it's greater than all my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. You fucking serious? All right, listen to me. The roses, they have the pollen. I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees. Park. Pollen. Flowers. Repollination. Across the nation. All right, Tournament of Roses, Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security's gonna be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FDD, official floral business. Oh, it's real. Sorry, ma'am. That's a nice brooch, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. It was a gift. Then once we're inside, we just pick the right float. <gasps> How about the princess and the pea? Yeah. I could be the princess and you yeah. could be the yes. pea. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Where should I sit? <laughs> what are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? It's supposed to be under the mattress. Not in this fairy tale, sweet ass. I'm going to go talk to the marshal. Snitch. This whole parade is a fiasco <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's see what this baby will do.
Wait, no, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend in with trash without arousing any suspicion. And once we're at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop, security. Did you and your insect pack your own float? Yes. Has this float been in your possession the entire time? Yes. Would you remove your shoes and everything in your pockets? Can I look at your stinger, sir? Um, please don't look at my stinger. Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight! <laughs> then if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do the job. Mm -hmm. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job! I think this is gonna work, Vanessa. It's got to work. Attention passengers, this is Captain Scott. I'm afraid we have a bit of a bad weather in the New York area, and it looks like we're going to be experiencing a few hour delays. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get up there and talk to these guys. <gasps> hey, can I get help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order that tiny little handbag. All right. Huh? Excuse me, Captain. I'm in a real situation here. What'd you say, Hal? I didn't say anything. Ow! Oh, Petey! No, 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 chill. Don't freak out. There's a chance my entire species... Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute! I'm an attorney! Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh! Beep boop! Oh, 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 oh. Oh shit, this is not good. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain speaking. Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom in 24B please report to the cockpit? And please hurry! <gasps> <gasps> what happened here? I tried to talk to them, but there was a dust buster, a toupee, a life raft exploded, now one's bald, one's in a boat, and they're both unconscious. Is that another bee joke? No! No one's flying the plane! This is JFK Control Tower Flight 356. What's your status? Beep. This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, and so is the co-pilot. Not good. Is there anyone on board who has flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who's that? Barry Benson. From the honey trial? Oh, great. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings and huge engines. I can't fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. So how hard could it be? Wait a minute, Barry. We're headed into some lightning. Pew, pew. This is Bob Bumble. We have some breaking news from JFK where a very suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh off a stunning legal victory, is now attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers? Well, we have an electrical storm in the area, and two individuals at the controls of a jumbo jet with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute, Mr. Dishwater. There's a honeybee on that plane. Well, I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson's work and his crazy companions. Haven't they done enough damage already? But isn't he only hope right now? Come on, technically a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. The wings are too small, the bodies are too big. Hey, hold on a sec. Haven't we heard this one a million times? The surface area of the Please. wings and body mass make Please. no sense. Get this on the air. Shoop. We're going live. <laughs> Mr. Ditchwater, the way we work may be a mystery uh -huh. to you. Because making honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it really well, it makes a big difference. More than we realize, to us, to everyone, and that's why I want to get the bees back to doing what we do best, working together, and that's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We get behind a fellow. Yeah. Black and yellow. Yeah! <laughs> Left, right, down, hover. Hover? Forget hover. You know what? This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we were on autopilot that whole time. That may have been helping me. And now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fella. Move out! <laughs> Our only chance is if I do what I would do and you copy me with the wings of the plane. 
You don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We happen to be in a lot of trouble here. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone. I'm panicking. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have got to snap out of it. You 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 fucking snap out of it. You snap out of it first. <laughs> <laughs> You snap out of it! You snap out of it! <gasps> Hold it! Why? I thought you were kinky. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Ding, ding, ding. Beep. Hello? Hey, Benson, have you got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen jocks! They do get behind a fellow. Black and yellow. All right, you two, what do you say we drop this tin can on the blacktop? What blacktop? Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on, Barry. You gotta think B, Barry. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know, but it's strong, pulling me, like a 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose of the plane down. <laughs> Thinking B! Thinking B! Thinking B! Thinking... Water in the world is on the tarmac! Get some lights on that! Thinking, thinking B! Thinking B! Thinking B! Thinking B! Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking Vanessa, B. aim for the flower! Uh, okay. Cut the engine! Cut the engine? We're going in on B power! Be Ready, boys? Affirmative! Good, good. Easy now. That's it. Land on that flower! Ready, boys? Ready! Full reverse! Not that flower, the other one! Which flower? That flower! I'm aiming at the flower! That's a fat guy in a flowered shirt! I mean the giant yellow pulsating flower made of millions of bees! Pull forward, nose down, tail up, rotate around it! Oh, this is insane, Barry! This is the only way I know how to fly! Am I Cuckoo Kuchu or is Beep. this plane flying in an insect-like manner? Beep. Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman! Bing, bing. Hmm? Ah, come on already. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What? Barry, we did it! You taught me how to fly! Yes! No high five! Right. Bzz. Barry, it worked! Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? <laughs> of course I saw the giant flower! You're a genius, bro! Thank you. But we're not done yet. <laughs> Listen, everyone! This runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers, and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. So what do you all say? Oh, Are we going to yeah. be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains? We're bees. Bee keychains. Then follow me. Except keychain! Hold on, Barry. You've earned this. <laughs> Zip! Oh. Hey. Yeah. yeah! Ah! Yay! Boop. I'm a pollen jock, and the drip is magnificent! All I gotta do are the sleeves! Oh yeah, baby! That's our berry. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. And I say, it's all right. Oh, yeah. Little darling, it's been a cold, cold, lonely winter. Yeah. Little darling, 
It feels Ooh. like years since Ooh. it's been here. Bum, 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 bum. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. <gasps> Whoa. And I yeah. say, great, it's alright. Little darling. The smiles return into their faces. Little darling. It seems like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun, and I say it's alright. Bum 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 Bum, 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 song, song, song. Here it comes. If anybody needs to make a call, now's the time. I got a feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here it comes. Hello, darling. It's been a long day, summer eve. Change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help you next? Who's next? Would you like some honey with that? Choo. It is be approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese. It's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Uh -huh. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Bow. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Mm. Would you excuse me? My mosquito mm. associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lawyer too. Ma'am, I was already a blood sucking mm. parasite. All I needed was this briefcase. Have a great mm. afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip wedding order, and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I help who's next? Who's next? All right, scramble jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> oh, that bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Uh... <laughs> 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 Beautiful day to fly. Sure is, Barry. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. <laughs> Woo! This is New York, baby. The End The Free Movie by Mischief Bum, 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 bum,
Do 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 It's the fucking long.
Mm-hmm.